February 18, 2014. Elizabeth Holmes dropped out of Stanford and founded a company called The Anos with her tuition money. Now, instead of vials of blood, The Anos requires only a pinprick and a drop of blood. With that they can perform hundreds of tests, from standard cholesterol checks to sophisticated genetic analyses. The results are faster, more accurate, and far cheaper than conventional methods. The implications are mind-blowing. What was your motivation to launch the ANOS at the age of 19? What set you on this road? I definitely am afraid of needles. It's the only thing that actually scares me. But I started this company because I wanted to spend my life changing our health care system. Phlebotomy is such a huge inhibitor to people getting tested. Why the focus on rapid results? By testing, you can start to understand your body, understand yourself, change your diet, change your lifestyle, and begin to change your life. This woman invented a way to run 30 lab tests on only one drop of blood. Associations of exposure to perfluorochal substances individually and in mixtures with persistent infections, recent findings from NANS 1999 to 2016. Certain viruses and parasites can cause persistent infections that often co-occur and have been associated with substantial morbidity and mortality. Separate lines of research indicate exposures to poor and polyfluoroalkyl substances PFAS, suppress the immune system. We hypothesize that PFAS exposures might systematically increase susceptibility to persistent infections resulting in a higher pathogen burden. We use data from 8,778 individuals, 3,189 adolescents, 5,589 adults, in the nationally representative U.S. National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey NANS, 1999-2016 to examine cross-sectional associations between serum concentrations of four highly detected PFAS, PFOS, PFOA, PFHXS, PFNA, with the presence of antibodies to cytomegalovirus, Epstein-Barr virus, hepatitis C and E, herpes simplex 1 and 2, HIV, T, Gondii, and Toxocara species. Serum. 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 Serum is the fluid and solvent component of blood which does not play a role in clotting. 1. It may be defined as blood plasma without the clotting factors, or as blood with all cells and clotting factors removed. Finally, we considered the influence of temporal trends and the study design of NANDs. Exposures to PFAS have changed over time as a result of some long-chain PFAS, namely PFOS and PFOA, being voluntarily phased out of U.S. manufacturing in favor of short-chain PFAS, example, PFHXS, and alternatives, example, Gen X, which are thought to be less toxic. Gen X, which are thought to be less toxic. Interestingly, time-stratified analyses revealed positive associations with adolescent pathogen burdens only within NANS 2009-2016, when serum concentrations of PFOS and PFOA were markedly lower than in earlier years. It is possible that differences in associations over time are due to residual confounding by newer replacement PFAS such as Gen X-5 for which high-quality biomonitoring data were unavailable. Such as Gen X-5 for which high-quality biomonitoring data were unavailable. Legacy and alternative poor and polyfluoroalkyl substances in the U.S. general population paired serum urine data from the 2013 to 2014 National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey.
compared serum urine data. Concerns are heightened from detecting environmentally persistent man-made poor and polyfluoroalkyl substances PFAS, in drinking water systems around the world. Many PFAS, including perfluorooctane sulfonate PFOS, and perfluorooctanoate PFOA, remain in the human body for years. Since 1999 to 2000, assessment of exposure to PFOS, PFOA, and other select PFAS in the U.S. general population has relied on measuring PFAS serum concentrations in participants of the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey NANS. has relied on measuring PFAS serum concentrations in participants. Manufacturers have replaced select chemistries, legacy PFAS, with PFAS with shorter biological half-lives, example, Gen X, perfluorobutanote, PFBA, which may efficiently eliminate in urine. However, knowledge regarding exposure to these compounds is limited. These results suggest that exposures to short-chain PFAS are infrequent or at levels below those that would result in detectable concentrations in urine. As such, these findings do not support biomonitoring of short-chain PFAS or fluorinated alternatives in the general population using urine, and highlight the importance of selecting the adequate biomonitoring matrix. And highlight the importance of selecting the adequate biomonitoring matrix. The adequate biomonitoring matrix. And highlight the importance of selecting the adequate biomonitoring matrix. Serum blood and highlight the importance of selecting the adequate biomonitoring matrix serum blood adequate biomonitoring matrix serum blood pfbs a replacement for pfos is used in consumer products including carpeting and carpeting cleaners floor wax and food packaging Gen X was developed to manufacture high-performance fluoropolymers without the use of PFOA, US EPA, 2018. Gen X was developed to manufacture high-performance fluoropolymers without the use of PFOA. Gen X was developed to manufacture high-performance fluoropolymers without the use of PFOA. Information on urinary concentrations of PFAS in humans is limited. Our results indicate that the majority of the U.S. general population in 2013 to 2014 did not have detectable urinary concentrations of 14 C4, C11 PFAS and 3 fluorinated PFAS alternatives. These findings stress the importance of selecting the proper biomonitoring matrix. Considering that serum is the best biomonitoring matrix for long-chain PFAS, we conclude that, regardless of the exposure scenario, concentrations in serum of PFAS with biological half-lives of several days to weeks will also provide the best biomonitoring exposure assessment. Serum is the best biomonitoring matrix. Serum, blood. Serum is the best biomonitoring matrix. Serum, blood. Serum, serum is the blood. best biomonitoring matrix. We Serum hypothesize that PFAS matrix. exposures might systematically increase susceptibility to persistent infections resulting in a higher pathogen burden. We hypothesize that PFAS exposures might systematically increase susceptibility to persistent infections resulting in a higher pathogen burden.